Hey, what's going on, Virgo? I am your dope astrologer and tarot reader. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are well. I hope you are safe. Let's get into your reading. So, when I was meditating on your energy earlier, I was feeling goofy a little bit. Maybe some of you, um, you're feeling that way. Um, so, I don't know why I just lost my train of thought. Anyway, uh, Virgo, hey, how you doing? Let's start this over. Uh, hope you're well. Hope you're safe. Welcome to my channel. We had a lunar eclipse Monday and it was in the sign of Libra and the first thing that I thought about was what are you doing or not doing that is preventing money from flowing to you okay additional money you know what is preventing abundance from flowing to you and also with this full moon in Libra it's affecting your second house which is ruled by Venus what could you possibly be doing that could be um, possibly pushing people places and things that you really love and care about away from you um, what are you doing not doing is someone interfering is a relationship interfering with that something that you know maybe some type of um something that you're doing that you need to move away from so i just wanted to get that out before i forget so let me break it down to you i am starting out with pulling cards from my astrology oracle deck and then i'll get into your general and the person you're thinking about but this full moon lunar eclipse it happened in your second house of Taurus which is ruled by Venus and your second house deals with people places and things you care about how you love how you want to be loved your material wealth it also deals with luxury it also deals with the voice and with this full moon in Libra there's something that you need to get rid of something that you need to stop doing whether it's a habit a person a place or a thing right and so with the full moon being there are you doing something that's getting in the way of living the life you want to live making the money you want to make having the type of relationships that you want to have it's not just about romantic relationships it's about you know the relationship you have with your friends, the relationship you have with people that you want to build with, you know. Um, so the cards that came out, Capricorn, Achieve. Capricorn is about status. It's about how you want to be seen in the world. Libra is about connecting, commitments, agreements, partnerships. So are you associating with something or someone that's not really, it's not giving what it needs to give. It's not putting you in the places that you want to be in. It's not giving you the type of life you want to live. We have dignified, which is strength. So this is like uh, putting yourself in a favorable favorable position to achieve something attract something and then we have neptune which is vision speaking of neptune we have a lot of uh, pisces energy in the sky right now neptune rules pisces so going a little bit deeper we also have the south node currently in Libra the south node is energy that we're supposed to get away from so when you add that to a full moon in Libra you could be shown what it is who it is that you need to stop doing what you who and what you need to get rid of um, and again, this was in your money house. So some of you are thinking about, you know, why can't I get the money that I want? Why isn't the money flowing in like I thought it would? Why can't I attract with Neptune here? Why can't I attract the money that I know that I need and want? Some of you, your manifestations are blocked due to 
some something low vibrational that you could be doing speaking of pisces we have a lot of pisces energy in the sky we have mars and pisces venus and pisces as well we have neptune and saturn in uh, pisces as well saturn rules capricorn so um And descendant came out imitation again your descendant Virgo or your opposite sign is Pisces when it comes to your love and how you your love life and how you maneuver in the world the actions that you take some of you could be like so um, stubborn or so fixed on not stopping something that you're getting in your own way because you feel like well this is what I've been doing it's worked for me all all these years but has it really because if you're unfulfilled right now you're getting frustrated with your love life or your money and or your career um, you could also not like your surroundings. You may not be comfortable in your surroundings. You may not even be comfortable in your skin right now. So this energy, I say all that to say, this energy could be showing you places that need change and transformation. Something that you need to stop doing. You know, so for an example, if you're if you're single and you really don't like being single, you got to like look at what you could be doing or not doing that's causing you to be single or causing you to either hang on to the type of people that you hang on or attract the type of people that you attract. OK, and then we also have eighth house, which is the house of Scorpio. It talks about mystery. And then we have solar calm, which talks about clarify. This has come out for the majority of signs, I believe. Solar calm talks about being intentional, not just doing something half ass, not making a, a knee jerk decision. It's about being intentional. Some of you, um, it's a mystery as to how you're going to approach a situation. And I feel like some of you, whatever or whoever this is, you assume that, well, this person is just like the next, the previous person or this situation is just like, you know, the previous situation. And that's not always the case. And so you could get a little lazy as to when it comes to your your actions and how you react and respond to people. Um, there could be a lot of misinformation misjudgment um, a lot of deception when it comes to how you approach and deal with people especially now we're about to go into mercury retrograde on april fool's day april 1st and the neptune card came out again because there's a lot of deception in the sky right now and so with you with Pisces being your opposite sign you could really think the way that you feel or the way that you've been doing something right now is the way that it should be and you could be deceiving yourself or someone could be deceiving you and um I kind of I'm getting like ego energy but it's kind of like I'm, I feel like I'm speaking to a Virgo where you do what feeds your ego. Some of you don't even want to allow yourself to be vulnerable enough to allow anyone in when it comes to your romantic life. Yeah, I got Aries and then I got uh, transits. 
so Aries is about the self so this Mercury retrograde and Aries season could be very significant you could have an epiphany during this transit um so don't be deceived some of you you've been um You've been led blindly by your past actions and your past actions keep getting you the results that you don't want. And I'm not trying to get on to y'all, but I know uh, I ain't gonna say a lot, but I know a few Virgos, they are they're hermits, you know, the, the hermit card and the tarot deck is ruled by Virgo. And they put on a front like, oh, I like being by myself. I like being single. No, you don't. You just, you feel like for whatever reason, you don't need to change who you are. And, you know, it's not cool when, even when it comes to like friendships and business partnerships, it's not cool when the way that you act and the way that you react and respond to people is so off-putting that no one wants to be with you no one wants to build with you you know a lot of you are sour pusses and i know you may get mad and click off that's cool but you gotta ask yourself are you really happy let's get into your tarot it was a card that queen of cups so yeah manifestation you're trying to manifest something and a lot of times manifestation deals with what we are willing to do. You take intentional action towards something and you leave the rest up to God. And some of you, you could be shown, look, this ain't, this ain't been working for you. Um, but you just don't want to change it. So let's get into your, um, your general reading and then I'll pull cards for um, the person you're thinking about <clears throat> I feel like I'm always coming on here fussing at y'all but I really feel like you know some of y'all need to be fussed at you can't be unhappy but then feel like you nothing about you needs to change okay so we have speaking of which death in reverse so this is like you're not allowing something to change you're not allowing yourself to transform or you're not allowing a situation to transform again remember i said you could be holding on to a way of thinking a way of doing a person a group of people like a clique a group of friends that is really making you stagnant and it's limiting your growth with death in reverse <clears throat> and since this is bottom of the deck this is something that you don't see coming so if you want growth and expansion this is letting you know like right now at this moment the energy is saying that you're doing something or not doing something that is prohibiting growth that is prohibiting you from making or attracting the money that you want to attract let's see what we got king of swords in reverse and two of pentacles in reverse you could be dealing with uh, an Aquarius Libra Gemini this is someone who they can't control their emotions um, they're they don't want to think logically they don't want to be biased this is someone who's very um, I'm sorry this is someone who they're very biased you know again you may be making a decision about something or someone based on what happened to you in the past with the uh, two of Pentacles in reverse this is talking about someone who's not comfortable so even though you're uncomfortable with something it's like you get in your feelings when someone or the God or the universe is, is showing you that you need to change. You need to stop doing something or you need to start doing something. 
<clears throat> what's this king of swords yeah ace of wands in reverse there is a delay there's a delay new beginning and it's right there but there's an obstacle in the way now that obstacle could be you some of you <clears throat> you could have like a lack of energy and again the lack of energy could come from you being pessimistic based on things that have happened in the past and you not willing to like step out on a limb or do something different tell me who what's the situation okay we got the moon we got the tower in reverse um, this is Aquarius, uh, Cancer, Pisces energy. So we got the moon and we have Uranus in retrograde. Right now, Taurus, Uranus is in Taurus, I believe. No, I think it went out of retrograde a few months back. But at any rate, um, this is like you having a chance to go back in time so to speak to change an outcome and it's up to you if you want to take it this could be affecting you on a subconscious level the moon and I, um, we're talking about the full moon and libra that we just had it could be showing you again something that you need to do something that you need to get rid of someone that you need to get rid of a way of thinking that you need to get rid of some of you you could have trouble sleeping with this um it could be in your face and you're not taking it you're not seeing it you see it but you choose not to act on it some of you, um, you're trying to drown your sorrows in like drugs or alcohol as well. You could be deceiving yourself again because you're trying to like hold something together that doesn't need to be held together anymore. And currently with Uranus being in Taurus, it could be your surroundings, like I was saying before, like, why are you staying in a certain situation that doesn't make you comfortable just because this is what you've been doing for all these years? Doesn't make any sense. What's the clarification of these two cards? Taurus energy I just said that yeah you're not being you're not comfortable um, some of you you could have like um, an unhealthy relationship with your mother a mother figure the mother of your children or father of your children um, you not empress energy is also about money and luxury and with it being reversed like I said some of you you're not making the money that you want to make but you 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 refuse to like get your resume together and apply for a new job apply for a promotion some of you i feel like i'm picking up on the energy of someone who's so dead set on nope this is the way i've always done it and it's gotten me this far well you know you need to change like why you don't want to change <clears throat> And you may not want to change because you feel like, you know, it's like you may feel like it, you're admitting something didn't work out or something is not working out because you may not be happy. And if that's not the case, then this is like a woman who's been deceiving you, but you keep holding on to it. And there's a small percentage of you that may watch this where. Um, the stress of it is creating some type of fertility issue or someone has you believing that their child is yours and it's not. What's the advice here? 
Page of Swords. Um, you need to get more information on this situation, on this, or this person. Um, what what is this Page of Swords about? I feel like someone is like really being sneaky. The Emperor in reverse. Some of you could be doing something illegal or you are dealing with someone who's doing something illegal and um, you could be guilty by association or it's causing some with the emperor and the empress both here in reverse. It could be causing some type of um, whatever this is, Virgo, it could be affecting your reputation. It could be a work situation where it's like guilty by association. Like someone is definitely observing you, trying to gain information. Someone could be playing the role right now in your life, especially with the moon and the page of swords. Like they're playing a role, trying to get something from you, trying to gain some type of information from you. more Pisces energy with the hanged one you're not seeing something some somebody's not this could be you just deceiving yourself about a situation or someone is working overtime to deceive you and you don't know it this is like um kind of like crooked cop energy or I know it's not what I'm about to say it's not going to resonate with everyone crooked cop energy or a detective or something somebody like investigating you and you don't know it and this could be going on at work like guilty by association somebody got you into some workplace drama and there's like some type of investigation going on and somebody has like um a bone to pick with you somebody is salty over um something that you said or didn't say <clears throat> It's a lot of toxic energy here and it's a lot of um, major cards, major arcana cards. So this is like a big deal. It's one, two, three, four, five, five um, major arcana and um, two court cards and two minor arcana cards so there's someone here they could be a libra gemini or an aquarius we got somebody that's like they're salty with you they're spying on you trying to gain more information this person is not um they're not being uh they're not giving you the benefit of the doubt and they could be doing sneaky shit. They could be um, not going by the rules, not playing fair, not not going by the book. This could be someone like a lawyer. This could be someone in law enforcement. And the major theme here is um, there's a secret. Hold on, let me put these in order. We got two heads of a department, two heads of a family, or like I was saying before, like um, this could be like law enforcement, lawyer, court, judges or someone they don't like something that they're seeing and they could be doing underhanded things to like hem you up get you in trouble delay something 
um the hanged one and the moon both talk about being deceptive deceiving you um the tower in reverse talks about they haven't let something go that again either you did or said I feel like for some of you, they couldn't catch you doing something. You outsmarted them at one point. And so it's like, oh, okay, if I can't stop Virgo doing this, I'm going to do that. Someone has a bone to pick with you. This could also be a uh, third party interfering with like um, a couple that could be on the outs right now. <clears throat> and it's someone trying to like paint someone out to be a cheater and they may not be a cheater they may this is like someone who's jealous because you're with their man or you're with their woman and they're trying to like make it seem like oh i had your man or your man tried to talk to me or something like that and they haven't had sex with the ace of wands in reverse for some of you it could have been discussed but it it hasn't gone down and with the two of pentacles it was something about this person that made your person feel uncomfortable or they made you feel uncomfortable and it could have been your saving grace that you didn't sleep with this person you didn't go out with this person and somebody is mad I'm just trying to get you all the scenarios that I feel. There's a new chapter coming in this. <clears throat> Somebody is not going to get what they want with the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio energy. You're going to get the victory. Um, I would advise you to stay clear of this person. You are being watched. So keep in mind that whatever you do or say right now it could be over exaggerated and turned into something that it's not again like i was saying before we'll, we're dealing with a lot of pisces energy so it's easy for people to be deceptive to be uh, to lie to make things seem that it's a certain way and it's really not <clears throat> so we have aries Taurus, Pisces, um, Aquarius, Pisces, again, Cancer, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, Aquarius, Le Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. It's already been 38, I mean, 28 minutes. Good Lord. Let's get into the person you're thinking about. I always say that I try to keep these readings like, you know, 15 minutes, but I have to speak on the energy that I pick up on. All right. The person you're thinking about. Virgo. So I was looking over here and I was I was hearing the word Taurus. I looked over here, I saw Taurus, bottom of the deck is the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. So some of you are definitely, um, this person, your person you're thinking about, they're, they are a Taurus, they have it in their chart. Um, there's an energy, overall energy of someone wanting a relationship and what you don't see coming is a is some type of commitment i'm not going to say a relationship but some type of commitment and or some type of healing that's coming to the two of you so who is this person if the world comes out i'm gonna scream who is this person 
who is this person okay they could be a pisces um this person could also be very spiritual they could be a reader like myself they could be um just someone who's like highly in tune with their spiritual side or their spiritual gifts <clears throat> This person could be at a distance from you, meaning that, you know, maybe you haven't talked to this person in a while. How do they feel about Virgo? Eight of Cups, they feel like you walked away and they have no choice but to walk away or accept it for what it is. And the devil, this could be like, um, they could be tempted or they could be tempted to come back due to the sexual chemistry the two of you had or you know they think back on you know the sexual relationship that they had with you they could just miss being intimate with you what else too many cards but um the temperance was on top what else the full um they they're they're open to a new beginning it may be sexually motivated though with the full so we have pisces aries capricorn so far how do you feel virgo give me a thumbs up if this has resonated so far Well, the Hierophant came out along with the Six of Pentacles in reverse along with Judgment in reverse and Six of Swords. So you walked away or they walked away. You would be open to healing this union. Um, you know, you would even be open to some type of commitment. You have a fear that they're not going to that they wouldn't reciprocate or they just don't feel the way that you do and um judgment in reverse talks about you know you feel like if you were the one to break away from this person you know maybe you're having doubts about that maybe you know you wish you would not have done that or maybe you know you feel like they made the wrong decision when they walked away from you what's the mutual energy ace of cups in reverse is the mutual energy so both of you the breakup is or the separation is really heavy on your heart there is there is sadness here someone or the both of you has blocked emotions what's the outcome communication with the magician this is gemini and virgo energy page of cups in reverse but you could be mirroring each other meaning that you don't want to make the first move to reach out and they don't either what's the obstacle someone is getting over it and feels like it's time for them to move on and focus on someone else what's your advice if you want justice in this situation um then you need to end the conflict with five of wands in reverse and the justice card in reverse it's libra energy draw some romance oracle cards okay yeah release your ex express your love and engagement for some of you this the reason why this person pulled away is because they still got feelings or they're still hurt over something that someone from their past did or virgo this could be you because i was saying in the beginning you may be taking out on people 
what someone did to you in the past so you need to release that energy and then when you do that you can express your love engagement is here um you could feel like this is someone that you could marry but if you do that then this situation could evolve into a higher level of commitment but you gotta make the effort one or both of you need to make the effort because i feel like the the window the time frame or the window of opportunity is like dwindling down and healing family issues um i was saying earlier someone's mother or mother figure could be affecting them and or their relationships and so there's some type of trauma that needs to be healed as well so um virgo i hope this was helpful um leave me a comment let me know what you think and I'll see you on the next reading. Bye.